So we've had the new uh, update for a little bit now, I think since the uh, 23rd of December. And the heavy duty mode, I tried that out. It's not that bad. I think it's 25% more health than core. Uh, if you guys want to know a little bit more about that, either play it for yourself or I've got a couple of videos on it. One of them being what I think is the best assault rifle that you can use for that mode. Uh, it's nice to see that they've got five extra squad points, one through five uh, for those levels. So you can get 25 squad points, get a little bit more stuff unlocked and play the game the right way instead of getting uh, just 10. I didn't do a video on the infected mode which is uh, new loadouts, which I thought when you got into a game, instead of just seeing the one loadout there with the bulldog that you're used to, you'd end up seeing more of, you know, two or three different ones you can pick from, which is not the case. It's actually different game modes on different maps or different um, weapons, I should say. And those kind of, you know, depending on the map, it might be different. You can get the MSPS, a sniper. Um, Whatever they said they did to the sniper rifles where you can't quickscope anymore since they had claimed before that there is no quickscoping in this game. Which, I'm sorry, that's bullshit. There's plenty of quickscoping. Even with this new update that they're calling it, which I never actually had to update anything. It was just a fix. I've still been getting sniped. One shot kill, below the waist. And the other day it said uh, one of the fixes was a suppressed sniper shouldn't be able to kill you from the waist up so they changed it to chest up for suppressed weapons now the other day I got shot with a suppressed sniper in the foot one shot kill doesn't sound like the update is very effective right now but you know they fixed it and I'm seeing the same stuff that some of the same stuff that you'd see in Ghost I, I'm or in uh, Black Ops 2 not as bad but I'm definitely getting quick scope still and I don't know. I, I just, when I see a sniper, I'm not very happy because I should be able to at least have a chance to move. Unless it's chest up. Then I understand one hit kill, totally fine with me. Okay, I was out in the open, I died, that's it. But when you get shot in the foot with a suppressed sniper from across the map, not, not my uh, idea of a good thing. Um... The care packages, now you get that 100 XP, which is good because it's a little bit more a little bit more encouragement to go out and get that briefcase done and the field orders, and you always get something decent out of it, something, you know, it might be small like a SATCOM, but then you get the chopper or maybe a maniac out of it. I've had that a few times. If you guys saw the video I had talking about a guy that me and him had a conversation for like an hour and a half, and he's telling me how he's got all this stuff and all that. For the invisibility uh, fix and the unlimited perks, that's all fixed now. But what we're seeing on the screen right now where I'm getting a griffin and I'm up in that little hole in the castle, this is something that is part, it was going to be part of the fix, I think. It's just something that Infinity Ward announced they were working on, which was the spawning. Now, this is the only map that I know you can do this on. As you can see, look at where they're spawning from. A lot of them are spawning from right in that little gap there and uh, from the right as well, but they come towards me. And if you do it right and you set your teammates up right where you have some of them outside the castle killing people that spawn out there, they respawn in front of you in the castle. Now, this I found out when uh, it happened to uh, me and a group of guys that were playing with, the other team did it and they set it up perfectly. You can have a guy up here where I am now. Um, to the left, you've got that big platform opened area that you can lay down in, and you can see him coming out of that little gap um, just right in front of me. This is the only map that I know you can do this of right now, and it doesn't always work, but when it does, you get plenty of kills. You can see here, I have a griffin, and I don't even want to call it in because I'm going to get more kills, and I don't want to end up dying and then losing that little setup, the little, I, I want to, it's spawn trapping, but I think it's more of like a spawn glitch, because as all of you know, you've all been shot in the back once or twice from a guy that just spawned behind you when your whole teammates, all your teammates are right there, and you get knifed in the back. You watch the kill cam, he spawned directly behind you. And, uh, and this is a great little thing to do. I try it once in a while, it's, I've gotten it a few times, the main other spots they spawn in this map are the village, that broken building way in the corner. 
So if you're kind of watching a little bit of both, you can see on my mini-map I've got some teammates up there. So they're killing them when they spawn there, and then I'm killing them when they spawn down here. Now I finally decided I'm going to call my griffin in because they're getting pretty close to the end of the match. And I've got two of them now. One of them I can't use. So I thought I'd let you guys know about that little spawning glitch. Uh, like I said, I've only seen it done or have been able to do it on Stonehaven. Otherwise, the spawns are so messed up throughout the other maps that you can't determine where they're going to spawn other than uh, Strike Zone. You can trap them in the bar. We've been able to do that. Um... Let me know in the comment section, or if you like this video, I can do other videos like that on what maps you can set up positions on to where they spawn in certain places. But thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and check out my other videos. Subscribe to my channel. Remember, I'm Kojak, and I'll talk to you guys later.